Hello and welcome to Yana Science, Earth Science Regions Prep Review, how to identify rocks. Rocks are classified into three categories based on their method of formation. Igneous rocks, like this one, these guys have melted completely at some point. So you can see that the crystals have grown into each other as it reformed. Sometimes, if they blew out of a volcano, they look like this. So igneous rocks have totally melted at some point. Then there's metamorphic rocks. These guys have sort of been cooked and squashed a bit. So this one, you can see that things melted a little, not totally. You can still see that the kind of groups are together, but it definitely got cooked. That's metamorphic. This guy's another metamorphic. Oh, so pretty, nice and shiny. That's one of the metamorphic ones. Then you have sedimentary. Let's start with them. Sedimentary rocks formed from sediment. What sediment? Well, dirt. This is essentially sediment. Here's some sand from the beach. Once upon a time, this sand was left on the beach for, I don't know, a couple million years. Other things got put on top of it, like more sand or, I don't know, a continent. And as it got squashed down and cemented together and compressed, Gradually, it became a rock, something like this. You can still see chunks of the sediment that were in there. Here's a pebble, here's another pebble. You can see that there was sand in there. You can see that there's other little chunky bits. All of those guys have not been cooked. They have never melted. They still look like the stuff that they once were. That is a sedimentary rock. This one's even better. Check that out. Who is this, you say? Ah, it's a fossil. So once upon a time, this was a critter, some kind of insect or some kind of, I don't know, invertebrate from a time period long, long ago died and left this impression. If you see that, you know that you have a sedimentary rock because if it was squashed, then the fossil wouldn't be there anymore. If it melted, then the fossil wouldn't be there anymore. But if it was just covered up by more sediment and compressed enough to make it a rock, but not compressed enough to crush it, then you have a fossil.